Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're not doing anything electrical, just a quick review of a torque wrench a company sent me. So, are all torque wrenches created equal? Well, obviously not, but what do you need to get the job done? You know, why spend 500 or more dollars on a digital fancy torque wrench that beeps and buzzes when you can get by just with, you know, something from Harbor Freight? Again, you know, especially for DIY folks, like they're not gonna go and buy a snap-on fancy torque wrench. What about generic torque wrenches? How accurate are they? And do they need to be 100% accurate? You know, my philosophy is I only use a torque wrench on really critical things like, you know, head bolts and lug nuts. <laughs> uh, things that need to be torqued evenly and, pro you know, properly, all other things you can get away with a mechanics touch or by feel like especially small fasteners using a torque wrench on those can be uh, you know get you into trouble if you over torque it and don't feel it so Nissan Xterra I just took all the wheels off for a safety inspection and buzzed them down with the impact gun lightly and we're gonna try out two torque wrenches so this guy I've had for years Harbor Freight, you know, or it's a power built, maybe it's not from Harbor Freight, but equivalent. And the readings here, it goes up to 150 foot pounds, up from like 20. So let's look up the spec and then we'll compare how close these guys are in terms of calibration. So this Ursiri half inch torque wrench. It comes with a performance test card and uh, at 150 foot pounds see specification accuracy plus or minus four percent you know there are the numbers and how close do you have to be well for example for lug nuts I prefer to tighten them a little more than spec like five foot pounds over it's not gonna hurt anything but if a wheel falls off that might hurt somebody. In my <laughs> in my career or life, I've had one wheel fall off. It was on my wife's car. Guess how much crap I got for that? Again, it wasn't a customer's car, but just because there were alloy wheels and I had to use a special adapter, and the more adapters you use, and you just buzz them down with an impact, hey, that can get you into trouble. You're used to you know that torque, but you put another socket on, and you know the torque rating is going to be a lot lower so for aluminum wheels especially very important to use a torque wrench I learned that lesson and I do it religiously now so let's uh, let's compare alright so for this Nissan Xterra our spec is 98 foot-pounds so set it to 100 most cars are like 85 and I know on I've had a car a 90 for Buick LeSabre where I'm like I'll just torque them to 85 and the wheel lug nuts kept coming loose the guy's like oh there's something clunking I'm like holy crap his wheels about to come off again and the spec was a hundred so that's where you, you, you got to check your uh, your numbers so let's set both torque wrenches to a hundred and get to work all right first up the power built so foot pounds here we're at 90 right now So that should be a hundred. Lock it in, and then the Siri. So it's eighty, ninety. There's a hundred. I mean, it feels pretty similar to the power built. So we'll put it in the, in the lock. Or Titan setting and again like this torque wrench comes with 3 8 and half inch which is actually pretty convenient um, so let's try out a wheel all right here we go with the power built so I do two clicks now the same nut 
with the Rosiri. Very solid click. Go to the next one. So about, about the same. So very, very similar. After the click, if you keep pushing it, you know, you f you'll feel the nut turn. I'll just go through the rest of them. I think we got them all. Go through one last time. Click. Click. All right, so they both work in pretty much exactly the same way. I like the solid click, similar adjustment style. So and then uh, the last thing I want to do is count the number of uh, ratchet points, which is important if you're working in a tight space. You know, how many ratchet points do you have? So we'll start with the ball right there and we'll count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Compared to the old reliable here. I'm going to start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Identical. There you go. So, both work great. Um, where would you need a fancy torque wrench? I know on some uh, procedures they have not only a torque spec but also an angle spec and that's where you set like, you know 90 degrees and you keep turning until the torque wrench beeps well what's the workaround you put a little white dot on the bolt and just turn it 90 degrees it's like it's not a big deal so in my opinion you don't need the fancy stuff I mean unless you want to look really cool in your shop <laughs> uh, these things work just fine they've worked for years and nothing beats the old reliable click in terms of hey your battery won't go dead and you'll never have it'll never break I mean it's simple stuff usually doesn't uh, doesn't break so that's my opinion on torque wrenches I'll put a link in the description to the Horseri <clears throat> the one that the company sent me so feel free to check that out but we'll see you in the next one bye bye